leader of government business in the Senate, Senator Simon Steele, first began the attack on what he called theatrical and exaggerated comments made by Senator Ron Redhead in the sitting of the Senate on April 24th. Senator Steele highlights they saw the NEC Senator's statements and antiques as a direct attack on government, that it was failing the people in providing clean and safe drinking water. Water qualities were tested throughout the area, equipment was checked, and there was no evidence, Mr. President, no evidence of any form of contamination to that water. Making reference to GBN's investigative story, the Senator says Nawasa also conducted interviews within the community and no complaints were forthcoming from residents. He says Senator Redhead's comments could have international implications on visitors who may be deterred by the quality of water. Then I would wish to caution through you, Mr. President, the Senator, for the recklessness of those statements, the immaturity of those statements, not taking into account the true welfare of the people, trying to create some mass hysteria for what? For what, Mr. President? For politics? Another government senator, Senator Winston Gawi, in his discourse joined his colleague and called for an apology from Senator Redhead for what he calls reckless comments and an attack on Nawasa. Senator George Cadet also expressed his aversion to what he says is damaging claims. Redhead, who is in his final week of exams, in a statement responding, says it is important to remember when he raised the issue at the Senate, it was to call for an investigation into the matter. Senator Redhead notes that he is still awaiting the findings of the investigation after sending an official complaint to Nawasa on April 25th, the day after Senate sitting. Senator Redhead tells GBN that he has never attacked Nawasa officials or the government and will address the issue in a later Senate sitting. I am Gerald Joseph for GBN News.